Towards the end of the 18th century, the legendary city of Calcutta, at present known as Kolkata, was the capital of the British colony in India. Besides being the economic and political capital of the country, it was also the socio-cultural hub of the region, as well as an important seat of learning and education. During this time, the English East India Company was spreading its trade and commerce in India and definitely in and around Calcutta. The company had its army of European administrators and soldiers for educating the children of these European and Anglo-Indian communities, a few schools were founded. With this objective, a school was established in 1789, predominantly for the English community of Calcutta. It has become popular today as St. Thomas's Boys and St. Thomas's Girls Schools. St. Thomas's School stands strong as an emblem of holistic education even after 225 years of its foundation. It caters to students from every stratum of the society. My blessing for the principal, board members, all the teachers, service staffs, office staff, and dear students for both boys and girls school of St. Thomas's Kidipo. As you are celebrating your 225th anniversary. St. Thomas's school is named after St. Thomas, who was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ and had visited Kochi in India around 52 AD. The school motto, 
Nisi Dominus Frusta has been taken from Psalm 127 of the Holy Bible. It states that prosperity comes from the Lord. Except the Lord built the house, they labor in vain that build it. The origin of St. Thomas's school may be traced to the charity school which was founded between 1726 and 1731. Reverend Joshua Tomlinson, the chaplain of Fort William, had bequeathed rupees 80 in his will for the foundation of a charity school. Initially, it started functioning in a double-story building at the site of the present St. Andrew's Church in Dalhousie Square. Later, around 1787, St. John's Church took over the running of the charity school. Soon after, a proposal was submitted at a vestry meeting to establish a free school society for the education of children. The meeting was held on 21st December 1787, presided over by Lord Cornwallis, at that time the Governor General of India. In 1790, a plot of land was bought at Free School Street and the school was shifted there. In 1800, the fund of the old charity school was absorbed into Free School Society. Henceforth, the Calcutta Free School took over the running of the charity school. Further, in 1833, a new constitution was passed with the Governor-General as the patron of the school. St. Thomas's School is the oldest school in West Bengal and the second oldest in India. In 1915, the extensive Kidarpur House property was made available to the Free School Society upon which the present school stands. A couple of years later, in 1917, this institution was renamed the St. Thomas's School Society. Kiripur House was bequeathed to the school by the then government in exchange for the property that we had at Free School Street. So we have been here uh, as the Calcutta Free School, which subsequently took a name change in 1917 to St. Thomas's School Society. In 1923, a bill called the St. Thomas's School Act was passed by the Legislative Council of Bengal. Henceforth, the school was renamed St. Thomas's School. In 1948, the main building of the present girls' school was built. After India became independent, the country's president became the patron of the school and the school was opened to non-European pupils as well as to those belonging to other communities. We still have a lot of free ships meant for Anglo-Indian boys and girls. Plus we have a number of other scholarships meant for Christian boys and girls. And indeed also certain deserving uh, children who are not necessarily either Christian or Anglo-Indian, who are also helped out. At present, the school is governed in the traditions of the Church of North India, with the Bishop of Calcutta as the chairman of its board of governors. The Board of Governors is headed by the Bishop, the Right Reverend Ashok Biswas, Diocese of Calcutta, Church of North India. The Board of Governors, which is approved by the Governor of the state. The President of the country is the patron of the school.
St. Thomas' school has evolved in its journey, striving always to fulfill its vision of handing over the baton of education to the next generation. Today, it is an institution that provides holistic education to the youth. In this process, it makes them responsible and worthy citizens of the country. Girls from different parts of India, they come here and teachers and matrons are like mothers to them. When they are in school, we have to see to their needs. And the children are very happy with the teachers and the parents are also happy with us. We get the support and cooperation of the parents also. And whenever we need their help, they are always ready to help. And with the help of everyone, I think it becomes easy for us to run the school. From the primary level, young children are nurtured here in a way that will enable them to uphold their rich cultural heritage and quest for knowledge and wisdom. The values basically were of sharing and caring, looking after the less privileged, the child who probably marches to a separate drama, the child who might not measure up to the very exacting standards of society. We looked after each child as if the, she was our own. St. Thomas's is a place like it's raised my self-confidence. It's built up the confidence in me. And uh, I've failed at times. I've faced failures. But the school has taught me not to give up. We have a lot of activities in which our children participate, cultural activities, with which I am very, very closely associated. I conduct the cultural activities in school, dramatics, dance, etc., along with my English teaching.
of the 225th year celebration both St Thomas's boys and girls schools organized a year long festival of sporting and cultural events between the students their parents and the teachers have been really very very nice the parents here are very understanding because as and when we have students who have problems we get to the parents explain the problem find out the problems and we deal with the students the teachers of this great institution work untiringly in order to mold their students into future citizens of this country the teachers take care of them academics and also the other activities even after school hours the teachers are helping them in their different activities like games sports and even in their studies St Thomas's Boys School is gifted with one of the best teaching faculties in all of Kolkata they not only teach us but they help us out when we need their help regarding anything regarding our studies regarding anything outside Gurukul theke dekha jay chhatro ebong shikshoker te somporko seta kokhono modhur kokhono tikto chhatro ba chhatrira bari chhere baba ma ke chhere ei school e ashe amader protidin protiti teacher er daitto thake shekhane tader porobotti jibone egiye jawar jonno তাদের কখনো শাসন করা কিন্তু শুধু শাসন নয় শাসনের সঙ্গে সঙ্গে তাদের আদর করে বুঝিয়ে দিতে হবে যে এটা তোমার ঠিক ওটা তোমার ভুল তবেই সে পরবর্তীকালে ভবিষ্যতের একজন ছাত্রক নাগরিক হিসেবে নিজেকে প্রতিপন্ন করতে পারবে আই এনজয় 
my association with the children very much. I used to enjoy it when they were smaller in number. I still enjoy them. They are like our own daughters. They are like our own children. spread over about 21 acres in the heart of Kolkata. Both St. Thomas's boys and girls' schools offer all the modern amenities for the 21st century learning, such as specialized laboratories for physics, chemistry, biology, Home science, computer facilities, and so on. There are large fields for play, spacious auditoriums, and facilities for various indoor games. Every day is a learning experience. Every day I'm learning something new from them. It's not that I'm teaching them something, but I'm learning from them. The campus in itself is fantastic, as you can see it. Everybody knows that St. Thomas Boys School campus is one of the best campuses in Calcutta. Besides academic learning, activities enhancing the qualities of the spirit and the physical being are of significant importance for the holistic development of a student. Therefore, school education is not limited only to classroom teaching. At St. Thomas's school, Sports and games have always been encouraged. The school has also produced many sports personalities. The school has a wide spectrum of co-curricular activities. Through these, students are exposed to varying situations and issues. We teach them some soft skills, for example, in the SUPW classes, we show them how to stitch, to cook, so cookery classes go on. So these are various activities which take place in our school and uh, we do hold some inter-school and intra-school activities, poster making, card making, competitions are held. Along with it we have the public speaking. We teach them certain communicative skills through public speaking, dance, essays, debates, programs like Robindra Jayanti and things like that we do organize in our school. We have the Hindi Divas, the Bengali Divas, in which we highlight the enrichment of the Hindi language and the Bengali language. Apart from academics, sports and games is a very important part of education. Without sports and games, what I feel, education is not complete. That is why our students who pass out from here and go out in life in the different profession, they excel. That's because St. Thomas Boys School caters to an all round development of their personality. The annual school sports meet is a yearly festival for the school. It is an occasion that the teachers and students look forward to. The girls and boys of both the institutions engage in a healthy athletic competition on the field. The hostels at St. Thomas's Boys and Girls Schools provide a second home to many students. Here they are taken care of, nurtured and looked after. The infrastructure provides for their comfort and well-being. Care is taken to ensure their effective growth, not only of knowledge, but also as a complete human being. We have got a hostel catering to the children. We have got boys from outside India, from Bangladesh, 
Mizoram, Darjeeling, and even out of the state of West Bengal. The hostel caters to the vegetarian and non-vegetarian food, and the matron and warden they take care of the children as a family. In this hostel, we address various life skills. For example, time management, table manners, assertiveness, aptitude building, then uh, self-esteem. These boarders are looked after. We have a full nursing team. We have the doctor who helps us out, who comes regularly and treats the children. There are remedial classes which take place in the school where the students are taught, given extra classes after school hours. The alumni of St. Thomas's Boys and Girls Schools find occasions to visit their school. Keeping the traditions of the school, they celebrate nostalgic moments with their alma mater. Having survived 225 years, I don't see any problem for the next 225 years. And I wish this school and everyone concerned all the very best and I hope they succeed. Together we are we have the aim of taking the school to greater heights, taking them from strength to strength. And also another thing which we really are looking forward to is using a lot of the technology which is available. Boys, do your best. Excel in whatever you do. And come out to flying colors and see that the St. Thomas School flag keeps flying higher and higher. St. Thomas, as it was in the beginning, now and it will continue forever and ever. May God bless St. Thomas School, Kedipu. St. Thomas's Boys and Girls Schools are on a mission to build the characters of children who will put back into society as much as they have taken and to build a world that is both equitable and progressive. It was the vision of the founders of this grand old institution and it is towards that goal that the school has been moving from strength to greater strength. <laughs>